Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our nice little blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty called Unfair. And uh, it certainly has been unfair so far. Uh, it seems that everybody and their mother and grandmother is stronger than our character, but uh, such is the life of an RPG. We gotten ourselves a few level ups, we're level 2 uh, at the moment, and we met Idira the last time, and she looks, uh, to say the least, quite competent. Alright, let's move up. Uh, we are looking for the Helmsman. The one guy that we need in order to leave this place because our navigator is caught in an everlasting battle with a couple of demons. So, navigator sanctum, we want to go to the officer's deck. Oh wow, that's the sister of battle. She's little candles on her backpack. <laughs> Argenta, white-haired warrior turns your face. Uh, dark eyes blazing, the weapon quivers in her hand and for a brief moment it uh, seems that she's not going to stop and instead continues eliminating every target she, see, she sees, uh, starting with you. Sister Argenta! Sister Argenta, it is a relief to see you. We require all the forces we can muster. Your face. It is unfamiliar. Who are you? Uh, Saiken, the Lord Captain's heir. The hour is dark and daunting. The ship abounds with corruption. The faces of friends are twisted by sneers of heresy. The eyes of comrades ignite with the archenemy's hunger. I will do what I must to halt the advance of the dark forces. But in these dire moments, little can be trusted. So I must know. Why are you here? Sister, I beg of you. Now is not the time for interrogations. The ship is under attack by heretics. We've been betrayed by our esteemed Master of Whispers. Edelthrad the heir is waiting for our aid, and Lord Captain Theodora is expecting a report on our success. We are here to deal with the situation. So I suggest we all do just that. There is no time to talk now. Very well. We may leave it at that. For now, I cannot wait to rain righteous fire down upon each and every heretic. <laughs> uh, what is warrior of the Adepti Soratitas uh, doing here aboard the Rogue Trader ship? Your orders serve the Ecclesiarii, uh, do, uh, do they not? Sister Argenta is a guest of the Lord Captain. And that story deserves its own time and conversation. And... Uh, more appropriate, sir. Enough idle chatter. I am where I must be, and that will suffice. We must get Through into the main door. hall. I shall join you, for it is my duty to the God Emperor to destroy this heresy. Nice. We got a uh, sister of battle. We will follow. For now, we will hold off any heretics who might try to crawl in through the cracks to join the main assault. And we'll take a look All at the right. generators while we're at it. Very good. Those villains made a mess of the cables. Oh, I wish we had a Tector map with us, but we'll see what we can do without one. Good to hear it, sister. Ready. May Terra's light illuminate our path through fire and darkness. All right. Uh, make sure uh, that we're meeting with the hair. All right. I mean, that's relatively Join straightforward. I would like to understand what she is 
all about. She has... Everybody has like 22 hit points. Okay, well, it's coincidence, apparently. She is... Um, not that great in the skills. Maybe demolition is good. And does she have perception? Awareness isn't bad either. So he, she could be kind of the scout-ish character. Um, we have fantastic perception on uh, Idira, but not well. Okay, demolition. She's better in demolition. So maybe she is the trap. This armor and Idira is the one that is just perceiving uh, very well. Both of them are uh, mediocre in the lore skills, which is good. We have them covered, so that's good. Um, Idira also is a Psy ranking 1. Unsanctioned Psyker. Well, cool. Why aren't we an unsanctioned Psyker? Hmm. Anyways, uh, we got... What class is she? I'm not uh, really familiar with all of the concepts of the classes at the moment. So, Idira is very dogmatic, not surprising for a character of her statue. Interestingly, Irida is very heretic. <laughs> okay. And uh, Abelard is iconoclast. Uh, but I still don't know what her archetype is. So she's a soldier as well. Uh, we have an operative, a warrior. I think there was one more class that uh, we were missing. But I can't uh, recall it. Anyways, uh, as a soldier she will deal a lot of damage. Not a very uh, big surprise to see her in the ranks. Um, Sometimes I've just ordered uh, the party. And weigh every step. Sometimes, though, you just fire your biggest cannon and save the day. Embrace true power. Oh, what do we have here? Crate of Trank Injectors. Shipment of low sticks. A um, couple of magazines. Okay, we're collecting all of that. Intriguing. Okay, well, augmented fission core that seems to be trading materials of sorts and well-maintained laser gun uh, seems like something uh, we might be able to take for ourselves so that we're not such a wet noodle. Laser gun versus well-maintained laser gun. The well-maintained laser gun seems to be just better off in damage. I like it. Was her weapon of choice? A nice little bolter. Yeah, bolters are great. Little mini rockets that they're shooting. That's not bad at, uh, at all. And she has an auto pistol as well. So there's really nothing wrong with any of that. Um, might give our uh, frontline warrior a just a ranged attack option case it ever becomes relevant. Where do we need to go is the question. Explosion blasted a hole in the door, large enough for a person to get through. Yeah, okay, then let's do that, guys. Okay, apparently not where we need to go. The door will not move an inch, it is blocked. The world trembles beneath my oh, feet. There we go. Saiken was just oblivious to what is happening. Here we go again. Oh, the all of these are enemies. Alright, well, let's position ourselves, shall we? Let's position ourselves. Four starters. Uh, Saiken. Why can't we position ourselves? Get your characters in position. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why can't we... Okay, now we can. 
apparently. Alright. Uh... Good. Let's start the battle. Here we go. These heretics will need to pay. Oh, that's good. Be gone. Wow, she's just dishing out so much damage. Forewarning on our uh, frontliner. Good, that was a really good turn. Types of cover. A full cover gives you the opportunity to avoid attacks entirely. Full cover indicated by the skull. Reduce the chance to be hit by 60%. Uh, partial cover 35%. At the same time, chance uh, to hit a character behind cover. My very uh, between the difficulties. Yeah, uh, ours is reduced because of the highest difficulty. Some cover can be destroyed, but uh, that is fine for us. I think we're okay here in cover, aren't we? Um, Oh, that's good. We're not dealing as much damage as Iridia, but it's not bad either. This is beneath me. Nice. Good job, Saiken. Gotta amp yourself up a little bit. Forty percent, not great. That, on the other hand, could be okay. I mean, it's multiple shots, so let's I just try it. Triumph. Oh, tribute. nice. Okay, our best bet is AOE attacks at this point, clearly. Good. Our additional dodge for the tank starts to make sense, and we're just behind. Argenta is a warrior of the Adapti Sororitas uh, and a soldier. She's an expert with ranged weapons, deals damage in an area. Another of her strengths is her mobility in combat, run and gun, unique soldier ability, which we already have done. Certain types of weapon let you make bursts, uh, single shot, but burst is better for AoE. Cool. So, we have run and gun, and we got uh, Fury's Recital. Ability also uh, mm, grants momentum equal to 6. Where do I see momentum? Is this here? Momentum. This ability also grants an additional 3 momentum for each uh, mm, enemy. In a five cell radius. Okay, and doubles with demons and cultists. Well, we're not in a close range, but I still want to double check the momentum. Where do I see the momentum? Is this here the momentum? No. It would need to be somewhere prominent, wouldn't it? Then we do have a bar here. When a Psyker reaches deep into the warp, there's always a chance of the Empyrean bleeding into our reality. At the beginning of combat, veil degradation usually starts at zero. Increases by one for each uh, use of psychic powers and three for major. It decreases by one per round. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if I want to know what happens when it reaches uh, the maximum level. I refuse. Oh, we're in melee. Okay, well, that it. is not great. Um. Doubt is for the weaker. 
pistol burst. I unfortunately used a uh, run gun too early. Well, maybe not. Maybe it was just in time. I'll do it. Okay. Yeah, she shouldn't be in the middle, uh, clearly, but uh, I wanted that kind of long corridor uh, and used it to our advantage. Chaos guides me. I am your doom. We're going to go for a cover right after this. Cool fight so far. I'm enjoying myself. First of all, everybody here braces for impact. That's a good ability. I like it. Cutting down that heretic. I'm not interested. At your back and call. And we are going in from behind. I like that. Well, that came out a little bit uh, wrong. Good. Here is the momentum bar. Now, finally, I found it. A special combat resource required to use heroic abilities. Um, we are currently at what? Heroic act needs to be 175. Desperate measures larger than 50. I have no idea. Oh, yeah. Momentum 136. Okay, cool. Sister of Battle, of course. Doesn't have a problem. I've suffered worse. Good, yeah, we're trying to get that heretic 22 points of damage. Her shout is massive. We'll do. All right. And let's get that enemy analyzed. Iridia is so much better as a psycho than we are. It's almost shameful display for us. 60%. Well, let me check this and uh, see how we're doing. 60% as well. How is this? 60. I do not want to leave cover is the point. Uh, what I could imagine is this any good? No, because we're hitting our own guys bit too far. Uh, I will still move to here. Six to eight or alternatively one to eight with a hundred percent chance. I think we're better off with that scream. One step closer. <laughs> It's not great, but we're trying to do our part. I reject the what can I do, idea. guys? What can I do? I we are a wet noodle, but hopefully that will change powers. over the course of the game. It seems that everybody else is more competent. That wouldn't be too bad. I like the idea. How about this? Very solid. Also good. Not too shabby. How about this? Uh, that's potentially the best place. This is unacceptable. Rejoice in battle. Argentia. Faith without deeds is worthless. Eradicate it. Wow. So good. Well, I'll do it. We're reloading our that other is gun. Not the Emperor's will. And since we have AP left over, we're also not. reloading our bolter. I refuse. 
She apparently refuses to reload the bolter because ammunition is for amateurs. Can't really hit both of them at the same time, but this is a great hit for starters. It will be done. And we're somewhat safe over here. Gosh. No can do. They who descend moves up. I'm not so sure. But of course. <laughs> and we're just killing the back line. Very nice. Very good. Uh, so far, Comet seems legit. 70%, 70 there, but a chance to hit our own guy. Don't want to do that. That's a hit into no run and gun. I won't waste my and unfortunately, the letter one wasn't good. I will not stoop to no this. bueno. Uh, and Sagan just stays I where he's at. My ears are ringing. We're nicely in cover. That's what counts. Um, no, this year would be the best bet that we have. Given that we do have increased dodge, I think we're fine. 50-50, uh, 60 here. Let's just go for him. New. No. Run and gun. And trying that again. Nice, but it was a good hit. Cool, this time, cleave attack. Oh, yes, baby. And I think that's really all we can do. Unfortunately, we don't have any other defensive measures. Let's just get this guy down. Wow, 26 points of damage. Was was that you? Or preparing this guy. And we're okay at the moment. <laughs> Minimum damage. Oh no. So bad. All right, we tried. Why, why do we take and take of opportunity there? That is the yes. Good, we're reloading. Single shot worked like a charm. Victory is imminent. Moves up. That's not the Seneschal's job. Continuing to move up. We're good. I think we're just screaming we this heretic to death. Wow, fantastic. 
My daughter seems to be just as excited about how that fight went uh, as I am. Cool. We are the good fight. Of the Very good uh, fight. The faithful are idle. Heresy grows. Let's see. So we got a couple of weapons and we got a couple of uh, bolters, and that's really I all there is. Unexplored. Okay, we can open a door, and we need a. We need us in order to open it. Tech skill use. Okay, so your character is about to use the tech skill test. Uh, success will be determined on a hundred-sided die. Powers unseen uncover my path. Oh, okay, cool. Get a couple of goods. Apparently, there is a lot in cargo. We're going to take care of all of that a little bit uh, later. And we got uh, plus three bonus to tech uh, use and a melter charger. Okay, who is the most tech uh, character? Tech use. Ability to use complex mechanical items. I think we are the best, to be fair. Yes, we are. Good, and now tech use is 40. Eight instead of Embrace just 45. Uh, That's not too bad. We can open Fetch that door as well. Interesting. So there are a couple of secrets here. Int uh, that isn't bad. Predictable. Let's seize the opportunity. Cool. Got some more goods. I will assume that these are all kind of trading materials of sort. It says cargo, but it doesn't seem to have any direct combat benefit. And we got some more goods over here. Cool. All right. Intriguing. Let's move on. And we're putting some demolition up. <laughs> okay. Well, we're back on uh, the main area. Wait, 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 before we're doing anything. Oh, no, 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 no. We have a level up, guys. That's my favorite part in RPGs. So, uh, Abelard, who's our tank, now gets Endure. Uh, and Endure, I think, wasn't too bad. Under the Warriors next turn, all incoming damage is reduced and he gets temporary hit points. That seems like a great uh, option. That seems like a great option. I like it. Uh, our sister of battle gets a soldier upgrade. And with that, she has revel and slaughter. And again, I think that was... Uh, she has bonuses. Soldier immediately removes winded effect. And um, gets bonus. This ability becomes available after the soldier kills three enemies. So... <coughs> for wet noodle Saiken, that might not happen anytime soon but yeah we got level three here Saiken being a soldier ourselves is getting the exact same ability and as an operative we get expose weakness uh, the operative removes all exploits from the target decreasing their targets dodge parry and armor rating by 10 Plus um, exploits removed uh, times perception bonus. Perception, perception, 45. Okay. Uh, that's not bad. Under the start of the operative's next turn, if this ability reduces target's armor to zero. Okay. So I would say with that, we can make a very difficult uh, to hit target debuffed uh, to a point where they are going to take damage. That's good. I like how the team is uh, set up kind of around a balanced team. The three oh, characters that you get by themselves uh, already seem ultra competent.
almost too competent for my taste. Tech use, demolition, tech use. Triumphant as always. Good, we got a helmet, grants 5% armor. To be fair, uh, I think our tank, Artebrand, should have the tank items. Abelard, sorry. Why am I saying Artebrand? True power. Got a universal lock picking tool. Let's seize the opportunity. Whoa, okay. The roar of flames rings in your ear and choking smoke makes you cough. And gasp for air, you instinctively recoil from the scorching heat, wiping your face. A moment later, a hazy silhouette forms out of a raging wall of fire. You are surrounded by an ear-splitting noise and a screaming, yet you are distinctly hear the sound of footsteps. And then you see a figure walk up out of the fire towards you. That's exactly what... Um, the vision has foretold. I lost my heir. Uh, is she demon possessed? An apparition, a sorceress, apparition, trickery of the warp. Sister, you will lower your weapon. Threatening the Lord Captain is outrageous. This is impossible. I doubt you are aware of the limits of what is possible, for your worldview is but an iota of what a rogue trader knows and sees. But I can tell that you would like me to share that knowledge with you, that power over reality. I can lead you out of these flames, show you a path. Rid you of pain and give you a weapon so that you may def Do not listen to this abomination. If you if there is naught but his light in your heart, if you are resolute in your faith, then step into the flames. The Emperor protects <laughs> the Emperor protects his faithful will not be deterred by either darkness or deceitful promises. Nor will the fire burn those who carry the torch of faith in their soul. To the void with you. We need to follow Lady Theodora before we suffocate in this furnace. The people! The survivors from the middle decks! We must help the crew! Lead them out! Find a way around! Uh, then we'll miss our chance to meet up with Elo. <coughs> All right, sometimes characters will have to make tough decisions based on their values, interests and goals. Such decisions affect their conviction. This can lead to three dimensions, dogmatic, iconoclast, heretical. Each includes five ranks. The higher the rank, the more zealous the character follows the conviction and the more noticeably the world around them reacts to their actions and decisions. Um, promotion through the ranks of each of the three directions open up access to new dialogue lines, events and unique abilities also changes the attitude of others towards you. When uh, one of the convenient branches reaches rank 3, um, it becomes the character's main focus. When that happens, the two other uh, convictions branches cannot be raised above rank 2. Your character allies have convictions on their own. Okay, well, I like to potentially play an Emperor-friendly walkthrough. So dogmatic it is. Walk through the fire. The Emperor will guide me on the righteous path. The blazing inferno, the harrowing pyre, or the consuming storm relates as you step barely able to stay your feet. 
The blood is pounding in your ears, drowning from the world around your eyes, caked and soaked and burned eyelashes refuse to open free from the flames. Take two more steps before collapsing on your knees. Rush of blood uh, in your temples and horrible pain all over the scorches, a body cloud your mind before suddenly retreating as if driven away by some mighty will. A new strength uh, spreads through your veins. And despite the wounds, your body once again is more ready for trials and struggle. As you open your eyes, a glow with warm light before you, the Aquila. What is Aquila? Two-headed eagle. That signifies the Imperium. I should know that. The sacred symbol of the uh, Imperium. Master, can you hear me? Oh, you're alive. Which is more than I was expecting after what you just did. Praise the Emperor. We passed through the flames. Oh, how can this be anything but a portent? For so it is said that the Emperor will bless the worthiest and most steadfast in their faith. All right, the Emperor protects. Indeed he does. Oh, if I hadn't seen it myself, I never would have believed. <clears throat> what happened to Lady Theodora? Did she follow us? There was no Theodora, witch. There was an illusion, a temptation, a foul Tate that tried to lead us astray. But he perceived its true nature. Is that right, Adepta Sanctimonious? What, we'll just pretend like we didn't see the Lord Captain standing there in the fire? Whatever it was, it matters no longer. Ugh, your conduct is bordering on madness, or holiness. A path opened behind you, where one moment there was fire, the next only smoldering embers remain. But what am I saying? My eyes must have deceived me. The wounds are merely a sign of a trial laudably past. It is something to be proud of, the same as decorations or badges of honor. All right, no elements held power over the righteous. Fabulous. My eyes deceive me. I could swear that I just witnessed you step out of a pillar of fire with the rest following in your wake. I heard here to join forces with you and the others. It's time to push the heretics Indeed back. Your wounds. All right, my lord checks uh, succeeds. Elthar does not seem to have changed since you first met. But only at first glance, his face has taken a strange hue. Skin temples appear to be scaled. The voice now has an uncanny screeching quality. These are not traces of fatigue or stress. The psychic's body has begun to mutate a consequence of the contact with the warp. You're not in the base shape yourself. Notice the signs of my blessing, have you? Yes, the warp is taking its toll. But I'm still sane and able to hold my weapon. I'll fight for the Fon Falancius bloodline to the end. And if the price is the eternal curse of mutation, so be it. Pray, forgive my insistence. I shall not be the one to doubt the faith of he who has passed the trial by fire. I have gathered everyone who answered the Vox call and was able to hold a weapon. Yet I do not see the Lord Captain or her arch militant in our midst. We are still receiving messages in her voice, but she is not responding to direct requests. It was at this very elevator, Master Edelthrad. The Lord Captain, accompanied by the Arch Militant, headed to her chambers to retrieve an item of particular import. After that, all we heard from her were Vox broadcast. This is troubling, and the timing is inopportune. I am still receiving fragmentary reports from the breach. Kunrad Voigtvier was spotted there. All right, and we're assaulting the bridge. No. You most certainly are not. You can barely stand upright after what happened. It is best that we go to retrieve Lady Theodora and let Edelthrat commence the attack on... Well, Rome. if we must. A reasonable approach. Take your escort with you. You may be waylaid. Once you have found the Lord Captain, you must beg her to go to the bridge and lead the counterattack. The rogue trader's appearance is sure to fill the defenders' hearts with hope. Until next we meet, may the Emperor bless your deeds. I shall see you on... All right, reach the secret lift. 
I am not afraid to and we got a couple of fresh injuries shriek and cover that is the difference between me and ignorant filth I tread a path unexplored. and I think we had a couple of goods over here good shall take them and I don't know what's over here the world trembles beneath yeah that's where feet. we had gotten ambushed and that's potentially where we need to go pay attention all right let's take some more loot and some more loot over here the goods I I assume that all of that will be helpful in the near future Let's take some more goods here. What do we have? Uh, Lax mechanic goggles, uh, grant plus three logic, and a set of sacred oils provide additional opportunity to call out the machine spirit. Well, uh, that's certainly My not us currently. Transcend humanity. Nice. We got a couple of goggles, and look at that. Uh, logic up to forty-eight. Cool. Let's seize the opportunity. Off to the Lord Captain's quarters. Here we go. All right, let's go and see if we find her. My tip would be potentially not going to find her, or uh, she's on the brink of death and is just going to hand the reins over to us. That is nice. She has her own little bath here. Well, luxuries of being the uber boss, I suppose. Ouch. Well, no act active handover, that is. Requires dogmatic follower. This helmet grants the wearer immunity to enemies' critical hits for the first three rounds of combat. Well, I guess who is one of the most dogmatic followers? I think it is the Sister of Bata. Okay, yeah, that fits her. I tread a path unexplored. Not happy with what is happening here. Rogue Trader's Cloak uh, grants plus five fellowship uh, for each enemy in a two cell radius. Okay, well. What's his fellowship? Not great, but I think this here will help him at least a little bit. Let's seize the opportunity. Murder scene looks like um, Theodora from uh, von Valencia's body is sprawled over a large blood dredged desk. The arch militant's corpse, still clutching, clutching a weapon, is slumped against one of the bulkheads. Emperor. Not a breath. It was. It was so loud. Why didn't I foresee this? Uh, Lord Captain. Who would even dare? Well, almost certainly him. First, betrayal. Now, the, the murder of the rogue trader. And Mort. How could Mort have failed her so terribly? The Arch Militant was born on a death world. He had lightning fast reflexes. <laughs> I, 
I can look at things in my own way. If you find something, something that might bear the imprint of the killer, just give it to me. And I'll try to see what secrets it holds. Alright, let's examine her body. You lean closer to the body, the cause of the death is apparent. What ended the rogue trader's life was an auto pistol shot. An extraordinarily accurate one at that. Theodora's face bears an expression of surprise, the last emotions she experienced in her life. Something on the floor catches your eye. A heap of blood spattered parchments and scrolls that must have fallen off of her desk. As you lean towards taking a closer look, you notice something else. Small shards of glass scattered on the floor. Adira, would you try touching Theodora? You might be able to see the killer through her eyes. It doesn't work like that. I can try to read the memories of objects. All right, inspect the shards. It is difficult to say what exactly broken the object fell on the floor. It's as much as uh, you can ascertain. Upon closer examination, appear, uh, the shards appear iridescent rather than completely transparent as they have been submerged in prothemium, uh, a fuel of man. Inspect the papers. Reports account dispatches. You go over the scrolls and stumble upon a document. Uh, handwritten letter signed uh, initials XC and a seal with a symbol vaguely familiar to you. Iridia, what do those shards tell you? I see streaks of color, luminescence, blue lights, faces drawing closer. Lady Theodora and Conrad and what is that? Ah! Something dark. Enormous. Oh, this glass thing was something foul. That's tainted witchcraft. All right, we're examining the arch militant's body. He had a nice little plasma bolter, which I think we should take with us, but okay. An auto pistol shot went straight through uh, Mort's forehead, spraying the floor with the furniture around with his blood, brain matter and shards of his skull. The safety on the arch militant's weapon is off. The killer must have uh, been a split second quicker than he. Yes, the crucible of battle calls to me once more. No, wait! We must see if we can find anything. Idira, you can't bring her back. You'd give up so easily, old man? I expected as much from the sister. It's not like she has a heart. But you? Oh no. I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll find the one responsible for murdering the Lord Captain. And when I do, that scum will regret the day they were born. The world will bow. Well, not cool. Uh, the wearer of this amulet gains a bit commerce bonus. Who is the best in commerce? I don't even know if we have someone who is a commerce expert. Well, certainly not us, that's for sure. Well, I think it's gonna be you, my friend. 50 commerce. What a nasty situation. The world trembles beneath my feet. You will die Don't you dare to cross us! Okay, let's get into position. We're taking cover. Iridia is taking cover. Genter is taking cover, and Artebrand is gonna stand in the middle, taking the brunt of it. Light and medium armor. Armor protects the character from incoming damage. Um, armor stat indicates what percentage of incoming damage. Um, character and light armor dodges. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, you've obtained heavy armor. Unlike light, it provides the ability to deflect damage. Heavy armor has a higher armor rating, but it usually um, has higher dodge penalties. Okay, that makes sense.
But we're not currently wearing any armor. We have a multi key, and that's about it. Uh, okay, well. Uh, let's move up My to here. I like that. We're hitting both Indeed. of you guys. Wow, only three points of damage. I can see what the game is trying to tell me here. I will do my duty. And we're enduring, getting some temporary hit points, which isn't bad. All right, cool. Now it's up to us. Switching to our staff. That's a good I hit. Will triumph. Fabulous. Good AoE damage, Saiken. Absolutely good AoE damage. Uh, we are yet again. Purpose guides me. Attacking a second time. And let's get those heretics down. Nice. We killed the first one. And look at that. For the first time, we did decent damage thanks to our good positioning. I like it. Icon next to the enemy's portrait indicates that they are under the influence of some kind of effect. A right mouse button on the effect to see it. Okay, what? Heavily damaged, servitor is damaged. Okay. Alright, let's give it a go. Argentia. Mm. No one can escape the judgment, that is true. And let's do another AoE attack here. Faith without deeds is worthless. Okay, I would say she did alright. Iridia kills a couple of the guys in the back. Gives our front line. Oh, well, we do have 14 veil degradation. Listen, I want to know what happens, so might as well push the veil degradation to 15. End of turn. Death to non believers. Hurts up and worse. A tactically sound approach. It will be done. Cutting through that heretic. Victory and we're imminent. continuing to endure. The endure thing is actually quite good. So I can single target screams, but cannot kill him. And we're just going to be uh, exactly or staying where we are. Uh, how far are we here? 149. Might as well push it forward. Now we're at 158. I want to see those heroic deeds happening. And we're at 14 here. Let's push it to 15. Alright, what's happening? I 
Anything else? Uh, bleeding into our reality effector that is in a variably destructive and damaging. Okay, we're seeing a couple of ghosts so far. On it. Um, are we increasing this as well? It's down to 15. Now it's up to 16, so the answer is yes. Revel of Slaughter. Yeah, no, that is has nothing to do with uh, the warp. I'll do it. That is not the Emperor's will. All right, cool. Well, um, let's just take normal shots. I want to reduce the warp impact. Clearly, this isn't working out so well. Anything else? We're at 16. I don't know what is happening. Uh, when the warp is becoming too extreme. But it certainly can't be good. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. At your beck and call. Good, two shots. Nope, that servitor still is uh, standing strong. Yet another miss. Well, let's just reload. That was that horrible. We'll do. We're back to fourteen. I will do my you. Victory is imminent. Well, that guy is super, super tough. I'd rather not. Combat Servitor seems to be super hard to hit. Good, breaking his armor. There we go. Finally, he goes down. So we got ourselves a plus five toughness if their intelligence is less than 35. Okay, who is stupid? 
Uh, Adabert, I don't want to insult you, but that is the right uh, little gimmick for you. And we got to rank up. So now we got Daring Breach. The warrior immediately restores all AP and movement points and gains an uh, agility bonus until the end of the turn. They do not lose uh, movement points after performing attacks. Warrior has no limit on melee weapon attacks this turn. That looks fantastic. Alternatively, choose a talent. I said, uh, is that a choice or get, do I get both? This is really good. Okay, then we could have Epicenter of Slaughter. Whenever the warriors attack, they gain one stack of Epicenter of Slaughter until end of combat. At the start of their turn, warrior gains plus uh, one temporary wound for each attack. So it's effe uh, effectively plus five temp hit points every single round. So we wanted to build him as a tank, not as a massive uh, master of slaughter. So I think we're going to go with that epicenter of slaughter. There is plenty of other stuff down here. Doing my part in other characters. Uh, let me read through all of that. All right, I read through all of them. And I think we're going with epicenter of slaughter. I like that idea. So we're going to see if we get both or just uh, that one talent. And if we look at our summary, we got another ultimate ability. Ah, I see. So that is a heroic act, um, which we get when we do have uh, gotten enough uh, he heroic actions. Um, he still has Endure and Charge, uh, which is good. And in terms of features, he has Brace for Impact, but... So, Daring Breach. Uh, we got that there. Fantastic. And we now have an active uh, talent, which allows us... Whenever they are attacked, they gain one stack uh, of slaughter until the end of the combat. That looks good. All right, second character. Let's do that level up here, and then we're done with the episode. So uh, we got Firearm Mastery, which apparently is another heroic act, I would assume. Soldier gains the ability to make a number of extra attacks equal to their weapon rate of fire, minimum two. Until the end of the soldier's turn, the first attack against each new enemy automatically scores critical hit. Ooh, ooh. That is absolutely fantastic. And let me find out what we're skilling for her. All right, with uh, her, with Argenta, it's a bit more difficult to find a level up because um, I realized I do have a tank. I don't really have a massive support character in a sense. And maybe maybe Irenia with her operative is the closest to it. It's debuff and a bit of support. And Argenta really falls into a strange category. I could build her for damage, but then it feels like a duplication of my own uh, character. There are a couple of options that you could take. Uh, this game definitely has a lot of options. For instance, you could take Shield of Faith, yeah? which allows us to gain uh, armor against demons, uh, litany of uh, purification, which is support uh, based, uh, gain disturbed effect, uh, all demons in the area suffer damage. Uh, so she could be really an anti-demon uh, character. That's not bad. The other um, 
a thing that uh, struck out uh, to me was Swift Slaughter, because uh, we do have that Rebel in Slaughter ability that is 15% critical damage, uh, more ballistic skill, and something else which was uh, really good. So effectively this here reduces the kills required from 3 to 2. And I think that's not too bad. I might uh, actually add that to favorites and uh, say that that is something that I could see myself doing. Then soldier's medium armor that does not reduce dodge. But then again, the soldier class says it is a very much uh, cover class, uh, does AOE damage, which all of our guys are doing at uh, the moment. So I see a lot of duplication of uh, what uh, what we're doing. And that is it no uh, small part to us being a psyker and a soldier, right? And you do have a soldier here and you have a psyker here. So that's not a big surprise. Uh, all I'm saying is it's not that simple. I like the idea of uh, more cover and the promoted talents. I appreciate that the developers um, have have used that. Uh, you could either say for allies, you're getting more damage. Um, uh, you could uh, use this here whenever a soldier deals damage, their own critical damage is improved then. Uh, after a soldier deals damage to three different enemies, soldier gains uh, bonus damage for the next attack in combat. Uh, that isn't bad. Rapid reload, I don't see us using at the moment. And this here was nice as well. Uh, soldier gains agility bonus, critical uh, hit chance, and the bonus is doubled against enemies um, with uh, where we are having cover. Uh, I don't know what bonus means exactly. Oh, plus five. Okay, correct. The bonus plus five. So it's a tenth of um, that. So that would be 8% critical hit chance and doubled against enemies from uh, which we do have cover. Hmm, that's not bad either. I still think uh, we are uh, gonna go for that swift slaughter. Want to see if that is any good. I assume there is a chance to respec at some point. Uh, Saiken uh, does get the firearm mastery as well. Uh, before we're continuing though, let me just uh, do a couple of logistics. All right, sorry for that. Um, we are back. Let's go on here uh, with uh, Saiken. First immediate uh, problem that I'm seeing is I wanted to raise Psy rating, but we need to be level 10, 20, 30, and 40 for that. Nah. All right, so with Saiken things are a bit different. I found a lot of interesting options that the Psyker has. Um, pain channeling, for instance, and Aftershock basically dealing more damage uh, to targets. Of course, the Psy ratings uh, upgrades, but also um, casting in melee, which currently isn't that much of a factor, and stabilizing factor dealing with the veil because the veil seems to be a bit of a problem uh, and then i found uh, one of the things in the forge world that i was interested in where basically three additional skills persuasion um, that we currently have 25 coercion and we also have 25 and commerce which i think is the money uh, skill all would uh, tie off of intelligence and that would mean 
that our fel fellowship um, is relevant. So I'm thinking if I spend like that one talent, there seem to be a lot of talents that you can get, but let's use calculated relationships because look at that, 20, 20, 20, that's a lot. And the moment that we're increasing intelligence later uh, down the line, all of that would increase as well. So I think that's the right call. Cool. Which means we have one more character to go. All right, for her, I think I'll just go for stabilizing factor because the veil degradation is a bit of a problem. Uh, use of psychic powers in battle by both allies and foes here the veil. Um, between reality while well, the well holds using psychic powers presents little danger um, but should the veil reach 15 the chances of causing psychic phenomena double and the perils of warp may occur um, anytime a major psychic power is used uh, the blah blah uh, that does not come okay so um, yeah I don't know what exactly that entails but stabilizing that a bit more seems like a prudent approach to me and you can see we're gaining willpower and we're also gaining perception as we're going through that cool uh why does she have plus five here characteristics bonus Oh, human's finest willpower. Okay, that's why she has five more willpower. She's just a better psyker than we are. Uh, let's face it. But we have a little bit more hit points. At least we got that one going for us. Cool. That's it. Um, I am trying to do a bit of a comprehensive leveling up because the system seems very complex. But yet I want to make sure that um, you are getting the gist of it as well. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like Rogue Traders, now is a great time to uh, hammer down that like button and uh, see how well we're going to do in the next episode. Until then, take care and bye-bye.